Hello all you beautiful people, my name is Zach Dowdy. Today is a really exciting video because we're gonna go to a skate park or try to go to a skate park that I've been trying to skate for almost like 15 years now. It's like a hidden gem in San Diego. It is a skate park nobody really knows about. It's like sort of a secret. We used to always try to go in, but they would never let us skate. I've seen some people skating here recently. It is Camp Land on the Bay here in San Diego. I just try to drive in. Normally that's all you have to do. You have to like act like you're visiting somebody and then they let you because it is private property. So uh, they didn't have any public parking. I parked out kind of a ways away. So now I got to skate and I think I can get in. I did see people just biking in with no problem. So hopefully uh, they'll let me in. I'm going to try to be, like bring my camera so they just don't really want to deal with me. It's sort of like a, a cop out. So let's, uh, let's try to jump inside of this epic skate park. All right, I made it in so far, so good. I didn't really film around the security, so I just didn't want to like add any extra pressure. They seemed really cool with me coming in and things may have changed. It looks like the city sort of is working with this place now. It's not just private because there is public parking for city users. So I think uh, we're going to be able to get a skate session at the skate park that I've always wanted to skate. The skate park was designed by Neil Blinner and some other people. I think Neil Headings, now don't keep me to this. I couldn't find any like, for sure information, but I'm pretty sure Neil Blender had it doing with the design process of the skate park. Super cool. It's called the uh, it's called the Friendly Bull Skateboard Park, and yeah, it's basically a very abstract skate park. It's just like concrete all around. It's not your standard obstacle skate park, that is for sure. So uh, yeah, let's jump in there and check it out. Super stoked. <laughs> Now, my initial thoughts on this place is that it's amazing. It's a really small skate park. It's not very, uh, I don't know, it's not anything extravagant, anything crazy you've never seen. It's actually really old. They built this really long time ago before there was a lot of skate parks in San Diego. It's like one of the first skate parks actually up there with like Ocean Beach and Memorial Skate Park here in San Diego. What I love about it is it's really abstract. It's not a lot of structure. It's very flowy. Um, it's j basically a bowl with like obstacles inside of the bowl. And I love stuff like that because there's no really pick up or turn around. The only standard obstacles they have here is this flat rail behind me and then they have the ledge. But besides that, it's pretty much a, a bunch of noping and really small transition, which would be really fun to learn at. Like this would be a really good place to learn how to ski transition. And if you ever come into San Diego and you feel like camping, you can get a reservation at this place. You can camp here, wake up, skate, uh, you know, really utilize it. So let's, uh, let's get some warm up clips. One of the caveats is you have to wear a helmet here, otherwise you get kicked out. And when I was younger, probably wasn't as willing to do that, or I just didn't have a helmet. So now I've got the helmet on, let's do this. After that slam, I'm gonna take whatever make that I get. I have a feeling this is gonna be like a really dirty looking back blunt, crooked, whatever you call this back to regular. But uh, do that slam, yeah, I think I'm just I'm gonna try and land a few, but uh, if they're not super clean, don't hold it against me. I totally uh, set myself up with that one. I knew, like, I kind of said, like, I know I'm not gonna land it clean, then I did that. I manifested it. Sometimes you gotta like think the positive and the positive most likely will happen, but man, loving this part. Couple more hits.
and that's gonna be time. My goodness, skiing with a helmet. I have a whole nother video idea. I mentioned it previously, doing a helmet confidence test, like seeing if you get more confidence wearing a helmet. I am working on that video. I'm so glad I finally got to skate this skate park. If you're ever in San Diego, if you're in California, it's definitely worth it. It's like one of those really small parks, but it is a lot of fun. Like, I wouldn't be mad about skating this skate park every single day because he's got the flat rail, they got the box here, they got some training. It's really small, it's a lot of fun. You can learn a lot of tricks at this spot for sure. I really like how there's like noping everywhere, so it's like really sharp coping. And then there's round edge coping too, so you can like roll over that. It's not, you know, it's not metal coping, so you can't really lock in it as well. But the good thing about noping is that you can do a lot of tail blocks, you can do different tricks essentially. And I like it, especially for doing, uh, I don't know, not a lot of grinds, but a lot of lip tricks and stalls. You can catch air off it, even though it's super small, because it's like really tight, small training. It is, it's blazing out here. Luckily, this is right by the water, so you get a nice breeze from the ocean while you're skating. So that's pretty dope. You can barbecue out. As you see, there's like tents over there. You can literally camp out right by the skate park. And it's kind of a hidden gem in San Diego. Like, not too many people come here. As you see right now, it's really mellow. The only people that have been skating here, riding here since I've been here are definitely tourists, people that are just visiting. I need to go pick up some new shoes. So we're gonna go down to Pacific Drive Skate Shop. They got a nice big shoe wall to uh, make some shoe selections. I, I'm either, I want some Americas, like I was saying, Last Resort, Americas, maybe some Lakai's. I'm gonna switch it up for my van. So uh, let's over to the skate shop. Right, so I was having a really hard time picking my shoes at Pacific Drive Skate Shop. I was going in between some Lakai's and a couple different vans, but I ended up getting the Rowan's because I think it is honestly like the best van skate shoe. It's just really durable. It has proven before in the past that it's like a really good shoe. I've skated it before. And I was talking to Truman who works at the skate shop. He was saying it's his favorite shoe too. So sometimes that's what's nice about going shopping at skate shops versus going online. Of course, like I paid maybe like five or six more dollars going into the skate shop, but I appreciate that because I got to walk out with the shoes and I'm supporting the local shop. So I hope you guys appreciate this video, checking out that uh, hidden skate park in San Diego, a gem. I'm definitely gonna be going back there. Make sure you smash that like button underneath the video if you did enjoy watching. Subscribe if you're not already, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Mash.